So in this video, we're going to look at escaping from snookers. Now, I think a lot of people panic a little bit when they find themselves snookered like this. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a few tips and a few things to think about so that hopefully, when you find yourselves in these situations in the future, you'll find things a little bit easier. So in this first example here, my opponent has broken off and they've left me snookered here behind the brown ball. So I can't see any of the reds and I'm going to need to play off a cushion and hopefully hit one of the red balls. Now the first tip and the first thing we want to establish in this video is to understand and recognise your natural angles. So a good rule of thumb here is that the white ball will always come off the cushion at a very similar angle to the angle that goes onto the cushion. So if we just have a look from this angle here, if I play the white with no side spin at all, this is just your natural angles, if I play the white onto the cushion at that angle like that, it should come off the cushion at a very similar angle. Now, as I say, this is not absolutely set in stone. This is just a bit of a rule of thumb. So the exceptions are that on match tables and tables with brand new cloth on the cushions and on the bed, there tends to be an element of slide on the side cushions. So when you play the white onto the side cushion, it will tend to come off a little bit wider than it goes on. And that's just because there's a bit of a sheen on brand new cloths when they're fitted to tables. But for most people that are playing on club tables, a good rule of thumb is that the white will come off at a very similar angle to the angle that it goes on. Right, so I need to try and escape from this snooker now and hit one of the red balls. And the second tip in this video is going to be to make sure that you have a proper look at the table and see if there's an area where you can leave the white ball where you won't leave your opponent an easy shot. Now, in this scenario here, if I leave my white over this side of the reds here, then my opponent won't have an easy shot or an easy pot at a red ball. However, if I came off this other side cushion and came into this side of the reds, I would potentially be leaving my opponent an easy shot at this red here, and then they'd have a shot at the black and could potentially split the red. So in this case, it's definitely in my interest to try and leave the white over this side of the reds here. So that's the second tip that you should always be looking for an area where you're not gonna leave your opponent an easy shot. Now in this case, it looks as though if I come off the side cushion, my natural angle will just take me nicely into the side of those reds. So not too hard here. And you can see there that I've come over this side of the table, probably played the shot a fraction too hard, but I still haven't left my opponent a shot at the red, so I'll be nice and happy with that. And now the other example I wanted to show in this video, and why it's so important to recognise your natural angles, is when you've got a scenario like this. So I'm in a snooker again behind the brown, and I need to hit one of the red balls, and it looks absolutely horrible. There's lots of loose reds, and it looks almost impossible for me to get the white safe. But actually, in this situation, I've actually got the natural angle to just come off this side cushion, off the other side cushion, and then land somewhere on the red that's behind the black there, on the black cushion. And that's just my natural angles without using any side at all. And I think sometimes these situations can just look a little bit more complicated than they are. So if I suddenly removed all the other balls off the table like this, and just left myself snookered behind the brown there, you can just see that all of a sudden now it doesn't look too complicated. I just need to play a shot off the one side cushion, off the other, and then land on the red. So that's why I think it's important to not panic when you're in these situations. And if you can get more comfortable with recognising your natural angles, I think you'll have a lot more success when you're playing out of your snookers. So let's have a look at the shot then and see if I can play it and land on that red there. And there we go, I'll be quite happy with that. I've landed on the red perfectly. I haven't left my opponent any shot and it was actually nothing like as complicated as it first looked. Now there's one more tip that I want to share in this video. So I'm in a horrible snooker here behind the green and I need to try and hit this red ball. Now when the white is very close to the side cushion like this, it's very difficult to pick the exact point on this side cushion that you need to hit so that the white comes off the cushion and makes contact with the red ball. So sometimes when I'm faced with these situations, what I like to do is walk round to the red ball and have a look from the point of view of the ball that I'm trying to hit. So I'd walk round to the red ball in this case here, and I would try and pick a point on the cushion there that I need to hit so that the red ball would make contact with the white. And then I try and keep that reference point in my mind 
and then walk back round to the white ball and try and aim somewhere on that point that I've picked out on the cushion. And I'll just find when the white is very close to the cushion like this, if you do it from the point of view of the object ball, it's just sometimes a little bit easier to pick out the exact point you need on this side cushion. So I've had a little look and I've, I know my reference point it's somewhere about there. And I've successfully hit the red there. So that's just another tip. When the white is very close to the cushion like that and it's hard to pick out the contact point, have a look from the point of view of the object wall and I think you'll find that a lot easier. So there we go. Hopefully you've got a few tips now for when you find yourself snookered in these tricky situations. So the first thing that's important is recognising your natural angles. So you can set yourself up with some of the scenarios that we've talked about today and just get a feel for how your white is behaving naturally off the cushions and then that will give you a starting point and a reference point. The second thing is, is to not panic when the situation looks a little bit complicated. So as we've shown today, sometimes you get a situation that looks complicated, but actually I've just got the natural path of the white available to me to leave myself safe and rest on a red on the bottom cushion. And then the third tip was just sometimes looking from the point of view of the object ball, because it's easier then when the white's close to the cushion like this to pick out the contact point for the white ball on the cushion. So as always, if you found this video useful, then please give the video a like. And if you want to see more instructional tutorials just like this one, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.